All right, welcome back, everybody. Time now for Great Day Holidays. I was recently invited to a rehearsal of the Nutmeg Ballet's performance of The Nutcracker in Torrington. I had to remind myself that these are students in a company and not professionals yet. Everything they did was truly magical. They really have an incredible reputation teaching ballet to students from right here in Connecticut, the nation, and even from other countries. What a great group of young people. Take a look. If you think you're seeing triple, you are. Three couples practicing for the same role to be performed at this year's Nutcracker at the Warner Theater in Torrington. Yes, it's that time of year again, an exciting time for these performers and the audience that will see them. I'd like you to meet artistic director Victoria Mazzarelli and ballet master Timothy Milady, two awesome people teaching ballet here at Nutmeg Conservatory for the Arts. Our students come from all over uh, the country, and we have a young uh, lady from Mexico this year. She was with us last year, and she came back for another postgraduate year. And we have a young dancer from Guatemala this year. She joined us first time this year. And we have also local students that are from all over the area, Litchfield, New Hartford, um, Woodbury. They're really from all over Torrington. And they join us, and they come together, and they do this production. It's fabulous. It really is. Here's a previous performance from the company. When you see this production, it looks like a professional ballet troupe. Yeah, I think that's yes, what, that's you know, we, that's, 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 that's the that's hard work. <laughs> I know, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. That's the hard work, I think, you know, having them understand that you know, if, they, if they're new students and they might have had different training, so we try to get them all on the same page in their training so that when we have a corps de ballet that they're all using their head the same way and they're on the same counts. And so that's, that's where the hard work is, how they enter the stage, how they exit the stage, how they bow, how they carry the stage so they don't just drop their character. So there's so much that really the audience doesn't really notice that necessarily, but they do because in the whole production and it ties it all together and that's what makes the professional they're athletes too. they are athletes and they're definitely athletes but they're artistic athletes mm -hmm. right so that's part of their dance education that's why we say it's dance education you learn how to do these things how to become a professional dancer it's not just the perfect photograph right it's how you move in space it's how you interact with others mm -hmm. and how you dance together with somebody else it's a really difficult thing to do and it takes years of training to to make that happen, to make it look effortless, to make it look, you know, that's that, that's ethereal. Keep in mind, folks, a lot of these students are teenagers. We have mostly high school dancers. That, uh, so they're not professionals? They are not professionals. They are, are pre-professionals training. They are training to be professional dancers. And part of their training, of course, is rehearsing for major productions like the Nutcracker. So, but these are, these are students that are just entering their teens to students that are just exiting their teens. So some of our postgrads are a little bit older. But, so we have that whole high school experience as well. One of the dancers, Nathaniel Penland from Asheville, North Carolina. He came to the conservatory years ago. I came for the summer intensive and then they let me come for the year round and I've been here ever since. And do you love it? I do. It's definitely my favorite ballet school that I've been to so far. That is terrific. Tell me what your role is in the Nutcracker. I am grandpa, a party dad, Nutcracker, prince, um, cavalier, and Arabian. So you have multiple roles? Yes, I do. That's pretty amazing. How, yeah. do, you, how do you sort that all out? Um, a lot of practice. It's mainly just muscle memory. You hear the music and then you just kind of find yourself doing it. All of the students I spoke with play multiple roles in the show, creating the magic that you see here. Caitlin Sullivan is local from Watertown, Connecticut. What would the Christmas season be without the Nutcracker? I have no idea. Nutcracker has just always been a part of Christmas for me. Um, it's just a tradition that I've been a part of every year, and this is my ninth year being in Nut um, Nutmeg's Nutcracker. <laughs> If I saw the Nutcracker last year, why do I need to come back this year? Because it's just spectacular. Mm. I think it brings in the season. We change the choreography from year to year. As I watch all the performances, I see what might work better, you know, from the audience and what would 
be nice to change. And you know, it's just refreshing to, I think, to support the theater, of course. Um, listening to the music, beautiful music never gets old, I feel. And Tchaikovsky I think they never gets old. Never gets old. You don't even need to love ballet, I think, to know because it is such an um, uh, iconic ballet. The dancers are working hard to bring you this awesome production. Six performances on December 10th and 11th and December 17th and 18th. It's so refreshing to see, of course, their expressions and their faces and their dancing. And they are young people and they're dealing, but even from the youngest, because our, our youngest uh, division, they're five, six years old. So, but every role we tell them, well, first we tell them how passionate we are about dance and we were both professional dancers and we know what it takes. So we expect that from them, you know, with certain ways and where they are in their training. But um, the youngest dancers that every role is so important in the whole production, from the littlest sheep, angel, to the sugar plum fairy. Yes, that we really have makes sheep. Difference. <laughs> yes, sheep. we have we sheep. Have sheep. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs>what a wonderful day i had with that company they truly are amazing and i hope you will go support them as they perform this holiday classic for more information head to nutmegconservatory.org slash nutcracker you will be wowed just like i was and all of this week we're celebrating our great holidays by stuffing a stocking with some awesome prizes for you the first thing we're adding is a pair of four tickets to see the nutmeg ballet's nutcracker going right. in the stocking there we're going to pick one lucky winner this friday who will get all of the goodies we're going to stuff inside tune in all this week to see what else gets added and don't forget to enter for a chance to win on our great day connecticut facebook page yeah so exciting free stuff yes. yay